Hey, I wanted to share something I was looking into recently. Uh, I saw this tweet a few days ago that was reshared, and it has a really great looking piece of facial animation done with some software from a, a company that I was unfamiliar with. Facegood is the company, and the software is called Avatari. And they have a range of solutions here, all uh, around areas of interest. So I downloaded this, installed the software. It comes with a range of tools. Uh, not all of the tools are online at the moment. For example, this one is coming soon. But what, I, what the one I'm checking out recently is this auto face feature. Looks like this, and it comes with a very sort of clean and tidy minimal interface so I immediately got excited and wanted to try this on my own model and so I used that example to lay out the landmarks on my cat to match what they had done in the other examples and you can see uh, after you lay out your landmarks you hit the create button and then it maps one to the other very quickly so what you see here are the 51 shapes named for the AR kit. Uh, you easily, it's very easy to set up your landmarks and you set up corresponding landmarks over on your custom mesh. Then you hit the create button and it will map all of these targets that are in your set onto your target model. And it really is quite promising. It's not all the way there yet, at least for my type of model. For example, the blinks uh, don't close the eye all the way, so this would require some more custom modeling. And that's not too surprising, given that I have very unnaturalistic proportions. Also, some of the things around the mouth uh, were a little bit uncertain, and, and that could be due to where I chose to put the landmarks. It's not completely clear to me where these cat lips should be, because cats don't have lips. But some of these shapes, like the mouth funneler, it's not going to work all that well for uh, clear articulation. So that would need to be modified. But a lot of these other ones are pretty good and wouldn't need too much. One of the other problematic ones here is the one called mouth close. So you can see this is a, the idea behind the mouth close, but in the AR kit, you are meant to use the mouth close together with the jaw open at the same time. So this would need to be unwound outside of this package uh, it, you know, by, by inverting the jaw and subtracting it from the mouth closed so that you get uh, what looks to be broken until you use them both in combination. So you, you can see that here on the uh, AR kit documentation here where it describes you're supposed to be using these together. Jaw open one, mouth closed zero, jaw open one, mouth closed one. So when they're both firing, you get the mouth closed. But in all other regards, it's super exciting piece of software. Very cool idea. I think uh, I'm going to look a little bit more deeply into this for sure. Um, but next up, I'm going to put this aside and work on some look dev. So until next time, thanks.